In this video, I want to show you how to get started with the plugin and how to install your first plugin from GitHub. The process would be the same if you're using Bitbucket or GitLab, but in this video, we're just going to show it with GitHub. If you want more uh, specific information for Bitbucket or GitLab, you can read about it in the documentation. So the first thing we want to do is that we want to connect GitHub to WP Pusher. And we do that by obtaining a token. And WP Pusher makes that pretty simple. So we just need to click this button. Then we'll get a token. We'll copy it and paste it in here and save it. So now we're connected to GitHub with a token. And we can jump over to the install plugin page here, where we select GitHub. And we type in the repository handle, which in my case is this cool plugin here. And I'm just going to install the master branch. It's not in a subdirectory. It's also not private. And then uh, this push to deploy option here, I'm going to enable that. And that will enable the automatic updates so that every time I push some code to GitHub, it's going to be automatically deployed to my WordPress installation. And uh, you're going to see how that works in just a minute. So let's go ahead and install the plugin. All right. And if we jump over to the plugins view here, we can see here that we have cool plugin installed. It uh, has a nice little WP Pusher logo here, and it's version uh, 1.0. If we jump over to the Manage tab here, you can see that we can manually update the plugin from here, but we're not going to do that right now. We're going to see how the automatic updates works. So what we're going to do is that we're going to jump over to the webhooks tab here for the repository in GitHub. And you can see that WP Pusher already set up the webhook, so we don't have to do that manually. Um, and you can do that because it, we gave it the token to do stuff on GitHub. So um, to see this in action, we can try to change the code a little bit. What we can do is that we can just go ahead and dump the plugin version. So let's just change it from 1 to 2. And then just go ahead and commit that. And with just a little bit of luck, if we head over to the plugins page here and refresh the page, we now have version 2 uh, installed. So you could see that uh, when we change the code here, the webhook was fired and WP Pusher updated the plugin for us. So that's pretty cool. And uh, of course, it works the same way with the themes. Um, so that's all for this short video here. And if you want to learn more about WP Pusher, you can take a look at the documentation. It's at docs.wppusher.com. Or if you have any questions, you can send them to hi at wppusher.com. Thank you for watching.